So, hello everyone. This is going to be a little bit of a deep dive into the Todoist project calendar, which is releasing today. And what I wanted to show you is more how it works, how it operates. So if you're new here, this is the channel to go to for more regular updates. If you're not subscribed, do subscribe. Uh, it would be fantastic to have you. Um, so as you can see here, um, what we're getting with this new project view is very simply uh, a, a very basic sort of calendar view in month process at the moment. Now you can access this, um, I believe per project, and you can go to view, list and board. I believe this is a premium feature if you do want to get access to it. Um, so obviously this is something that uh, will be available for to do with premium users. So I'll double check on that one just to make sure that I'm not getting that wrong. So what's really nice is first off, you can hover over each of the items um, and you can also uh, scrubble this hide with no tasks at uh, no dates. Um, these are any tasks without any dates on. And what's nice is at least in this version, you can drag it onto the item and into your calendar. Now, if you obviously drag that item in, it automatically gives it a due date, which allows you to set up a um, pretty simple uh, sort of basic um, structure. And here you can connect it with whatever workspace you are currently in. Now, what is nice as well is I assume that Todoist would bring out a feature where you might have um, a due date that might not be a due date, it could be an edit date. Um, but obviously that's probably on the future plans for their releases. One of the nice things is you can move stuff between certain days as well. And if I want to click on an item, it automatically selects it and the project that I'm part of. You can view this in full screen mode, but largely this is what you're going to get in terms of um, the sort of range of abilities. You can see here that if I just scroll over it, it doesn't give you much, but you can see the priority of the item. You can also tick off items as well, which is very helpful inside of this view. Scrolling ahead, you get to see the month view and you can see that change over here. You can naturally share access to the project like you would previously, and that's pretty much it. You can monitor everything alongside here as well, so you can always just bring in the task, but largely this project view is, is very basic. Now, I wanted to show you some of the pre-released uh, coverage of, let me find it. So just to give you some insight into where this could potentially go in the future, Todoist actually put a video out. And um, whilst you can't see it as it, because it's quite grainy to even capture, this is their projected concept of the week view. You can see here that it's got the upcoming ability with your tasks and you'll be able to have all day tasks and you'll be able to time block as well. The second thing that they look like they're planning is the ability to add uh, colorization. This could be from multiple calendars, but again, in the same view, allow you to plan your full month and have those context points to add into your items. Now, just as a concept, I've zoomed in and you can see here that there's ones with circles which are ticked, tickable tasks like you wouldn't get in Todoist and ones that are not, which assume that they will have a calendar based function in the future, allowing you to import Google Calendar, etc. So this is the Todoist project calendar view. It's available for everyone. Um, and obviously they're currently still testing stuff. I will keep you updated. If you enjoyed today's feature, hit the like button, share it, or maybe even just be a subscriber. It'd be great to have you. And I'm looking forward to future videos. I'm sure I will be doing many, many more. I'll see you very soon, folks. Cheerio.